this year, Taeyang's smile wasn't disappearing by seeing Wayan's picture. It's been his daily routine to see her picture for hours to calm his mind. The dangerous mafia V's smile was now dependent on a cold woman's face. Isn't it strange? Lee Wayan you know it's crime to be in someone's mind for 24/7 and for this you have to pay miss lee and her team has arrived they thought got disturbed by someone's voice champu you tell them i am coming in just minutes okay then having said that champu left now don't have to fear at the sight of this photo i can see you here for the point of me See you again. Yeah, Mr. Kim, pleasure to meet you again. Shall we start the meeting? Go on. The meeting first started, but Thayer's full focus was on Wayne. He didn't hear a single word about the project. I never thought someone's presence will affect me this much. I like your confidence a lot. After the meeting, I hope you didn't regret working with us, Thayer. Yeah, it was worth of the time. But Miss Lee, you should smile while working. It's necessary a business trait. I don't think so, Mr. Kim. Rather than my smile, I would like to present my work. Skill to business partners. Do you have anything else to say? Anything about the project? I am afraid I have none. Then we are leaving, Mr. Kim. Have a good day. She is not afraid of me. I like it. This is the deal. We should to look forward. What do you say, Thayang? Thayang, Thayang. Yeah. What happened, Jin Hyun? Why are you shouting? I am not shouting, Thayang. You were not listening to me. I was about talking a deal. He won't listen to you, Hyun. Why, Jungkook? Cause he is busy thinking about someone. Right, Thayang? Shut up, Jungkook. Hmm? You know him. He was thinking about Miss Lee Wayan, our new business partner. The day he met her, he can't take his eyes off from her. She was late for the meeting, but still he continued the meeting. Him, can you imagine this? Jin looked at Thayer with amused eyes, and not only that, you could have seen how she didn't get afraid of him and roasted him with her confidence. Shut up, you Jiyeon Jungkook. Look, you. The great V is thinking about a girl. Do you like her, Thea? I don't know. I just can't get her out of my mind. I feel like I need her in my life at any cost. I have never seen you talking about a girl like this, Thea. I am also surprised by my own behavior. The thought of this Sunday success party will be the last time in our company, making me miserable. It's so frustrating. I think you should confess this to her. Yeah, I also think so. Okay, then I will think about it. Now tell me, Hugh, what were you asking me? Time skip. Kids were playing here and there in the park. Wayne was also playing with them. She was smiling broadly. Today, Wayne had taken out the Sunshine Orphanage children out for a fun day. The orphanage staffs were also there. Then Wayne doesn't have to work. She spent her time with them. This gives her peace. She was enjoying her time without knowing there was a person watching her from the far. Thayen. It was Thayen who was watching her. Why don't you smile when you are with me? I am not liking the children. They are so lucky to play with you, spend time with you. I also want to spend time, my time with you. I want to be the reason behind your smile. Only me. 
After talking with Jane Hume and Janko, I thought a lot behind it. Reasons for my behavior and I concluded that I like you. I want to be mine forever. And this I am going to confess to you this Saturday. Wait for me, Ryan. Soon you will smile for me. Soon I will be the reason behind this happiness. At Saturday's party. Is everything ready, Jungkook? Yeah, everything is ready at the rooftop. We just have to wait for Miss Vyan's arrival. Okay then. Then the party begins and Jungkook went to attend guests. Thayeng stood there near the bar with a glass of wine. All his other business partners were coming, but his eyes were only searching Vyan. He was being impatient to see her. When will you come, Vyan? Then his eyes lit up when he saw Vyan's assistants entering the party. He immediately put the glass on the table and went towards them after fixing his dress. He was impatiently looking at the entrance to find her, but she was not behind them. Jungkook was attending Vyan's assistants, thinking thought she must be at the parking lot. He went there to find her, but she was not there also. He thought she must be coming late. He waited for her, but later also she didn't come. He then asked her assistants, So Miss Susie, when will Miss Lee coming? Sorry Mr. King, but she won't be coming today. Why is she alright? Yeah, Mr. Kim, she is absolutely alright. It's just she doesn't attend parties. But she told me to thank you for working with us. Okay, excuse me, please. Rake and disappointment filled Thayang. He got very angry that Wang didn't come. This is the first time his business partner didn't come to the project success party. He excused himself from everyone and went to rooftop where every arrangement were done. After coming to rooftop, he saw all the decorations. He shot heavily in frustration. He ran his fingers into his hairs. He started to kick everything. He was destroying every candles. Everything became a mess within the seconds. Why you didn't come, Ryan? It's not good. Today we're supposed to spend time together. Today I should be confessing to you. But you ruined everything. This is not good, Ryan. This is not good. He was still throwing things everywhere. After some time, he sat on the sofa and started to take deep breaths. He started to think about Wayne's smiling face while she was playing with the kids. After a long time, he calmed down. He took out his phone and called someone. Hello? I want Miss Wayne's phone number immediately. Hurry up. He cut the call and chuckled while watching her photo on her phone. No worries. If I can't tell you about my feelings today, I will tell you tomorrow. Just wait for me, honey. Then the person whom he called before said Wine's number to him. Seeing the number, his face lit up. He didn't waste any more seconds and called her. After two rings, she picked up the call. Hello? Who's this? Miss Lee, it's me, Kim Thea. I hope you remember your business partner. Yeah, but how did you get my number? That's not important. The important thing is, you are not... Here, Miss Lee, it's not good. I guess my assistant cleared you well. I am not there. Yeah, I heard you don't attend parties. But Miss Lee, isn't it an unprofessional behavior not to attend your success party? I don't think so, Mr. Kim. Not always what you think should be true. This time we did wrong, Miss Lee. So if you caught me to remark this, then sorry, I'm not interested in it. Why would I call you to just remark this? There is a specific reason I have called you. Would you mind telling me the reason behind your calling me at this hour? Sure, after doing project, I like to spend time an evening with my business partner as a success part. But as you didn't come today, you made me disappointed. But you know, Miss Lee, 
what I want to do, I do. For spending time with you, I mean celebrating your success party, I would like to invite you tomorrow for a dinner. I hope you are understanding.